Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the insertion sort. Insertion sort is the simplest sorting algorithm that works in the way that we sort the playing cards in our hand. So we will see one example of it to take the element in the array as 10, 14, 5 and 1. So initially we will consider the first element is in sorted array and rest of the elements are in unsorted array. So then we will compare that this first element of the unsorted array with the sorted array is 14 less than 10? No. So we will not change the position of the 14 because we want all the elements in the ascending order. So our array will be 10, 14, 5 and 1. So now this will become sorted array and these two elements are in unsorted array. So then we will compare the first element of unsorted array with the entire element in the sorted array. So we will compare the 5 with 14 is 5 less than 14 yes. Is 5 less than 10 yes. Then we will replace the 5 with the position of the 10 and move 10 and 14 with one more position ahead that is array will be 5 10 14 and 1 just like the cards you play this will be sorted array and this will be in unsorted array then we will compare this element with the entire element of the sorted array so then we will compare 1 with 14 is 1 less than 14 yes but then we will compare 1 less than 10 yes then we will compare 1 less than 5 yes then we will replace this one with the 5 and move 5 10 and 14 one more ahead that is the array will be 1 5 10 and 14 this will be our array so in this way the selection sort works so next we will see the function for the selection sort so here it is function called as insertion sort and in that we have passed the two parameter one for the array that is a and another for the size of that array and int i key j is the variable key is for the sorting purpose so we will see how that this code is useful for sorting our element 10 14 5 and 1 uh, then then initially the value of i is equal to 1 from this for loop and i should be less than 4 then value of key that is key variable is assigned by a of i that is a of 1 that is value of it is 14 j value will be assigned as i minus 1 that is equal to 1 minus 1 that is 0 then it will compare this while j is greater than equal to 0 yes and a of j that is a of 0 is greater than key that is a of 0 is greater than 14 that is 10 greater than 14 no this condition is false then it will not execute this while loop then it will execute that a of j plus 1 will be equal to p that is a of 0 plus 1 will be equal to 14 that is a of 1 will be equal to 14 which is already 14 so our array will be as it is that is 10 14 5 and 1 so then i will be incremented the value of i will become 2 and it will check that is 2 less than 4 yes then it will assign the a of 2 that is a of i to the key that is equal to 5 then key value is 5 now then it will assign the j value as i minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 then it will check that a of 1 is greater than key that is a of j greater than key that is a of 1 greater than 5 that is is 14 greater than 5 yes then it will execute that while loop then a of j plus 1 
वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ जे वन प्लस वन विल बी इक्वल टू ए ऑफ जे दैट इज ए ऑफ वन दैट इज ए ऑफ टू विल बी असाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ऑफ वन दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन सो और एरे विल बिकम टेन फोर्टीन फोर्टीन एंड वन देन J value is decrementing. That is J is equal to J minus one. That is J is one. That is one minus one will be zero. Then it will check the same condition of while. That is J is greater than equal to zero. And A of J. Then again, A of J. That is A of zero must be greater than key. That is A. What is the value of key? That is five. What is the value of A of zero? That is ten. Must be greater than five. So this is true. Then it will do. It will execute the while loop. Then it will assign the j plus one. That is a of j plus one. That is a of zero plus one. Zero plus one as a of j. That is a of zero. And this will become a of one. Will be equal to a of zero. That is equal to Then, so this array will become ten, ten, fourteen, and one. Then it will decrement the value of the j. That is, j is equal to j minus one. Then it will check that condition is j greater than zero because j value is j minus one. That is, j minus. What is the value of j current? It is zero. That is zero minus one. That is j value will be equal to minus one. Is minus one greater than equal to zero? No. So this while loop condition is false. It will not execute, and it will execute the statement that is a of j plus one equal to key. That is a of minus one plus one. That is a of zero is equal to key. What is the value of key over here? Yes, the key value is five. Then a of zero will be equal to five. Then our array will become five, ten, fourteen, and one. You try it yourself for when r is equal to three. What will happen? So when r is equal to three, the value of key will be become one. Then what will be the sorting on the array? I will discuss directly. So Our array currently, our array has five, ten, fourteen, and one. Then it will become five, ten, ten, and fourteen. Then it will become five, five, ten, and fourteen. Then it will become one, five, ten, and fourteen. This should be your array for the last condition that is when r is equal to 3 so please try it yourself so our final answer is this so which is in sorted in ascending order that is 1 5 10 and 14 through insertion sort the time complexity of the insertion sort is big o of n square because it has nested loop that is inside the for loop there is a while loop therefore the time complexity of that insertion sort is big o of n square